So I'm going to try to run through this really quickly. This is for if you finish your Nikes, um, the enrichment activity that I posted to make an advertisement for your Nikes. And I linked a bunch of websites and um, inspiration for you to look at. So hopefully you took a look at those. Um, some, I put some tutorials of like different, all sorts of different effects that, that I did not make, but you are um, welcome to use any of those if it fits with your idea of what you want to do. So first thing, to make just like a standard a poster advertisement, um, you need to make a new document. We're going to put everything in. So I'm going to do eight and a half by 11 with 100 resolution. So that would be the portrait orientation. So now what I need to do is I need to move my Nikes over to the blank document. And if you see right now, I have two layers. I want those in one layer, which is very easy to do. If you come up to layer and you come to merge visible and it will combine those two layers into one now we want to isolate the shoe from the background and it's really easy because it's just a white background so you can use your magic wand tool which remember is could be behind the quick selection tool click on the background click delete control d deselects and then get your move tool click and drag your shoe into your new blank document. So this part, if you want to resize, it's very important that you hold down the shift key and resize from the corners or else yours can go all wonky and we don't want that. So hold down the shift key, resize from the corners to whatever size you want to make it. You can rotate it, remember, with this as well. I'm going to leave it like that for right now. Um, it's a good idea, so maybe you only want to use one shoe. Um, why not just have two to experiment with? If you hit Control J on the keyboard, you'll see I just made layer one copy, and if I, I can move this and I can see I have two of those. So I could, um, you know, play around with, with that and um, do some stuff with two of them. You could just have one. I made no requirements as to how many shoes you had to have. Um, a cool thing that you can do really quickly, um, if you go to edit and transform, there's all sorts of like you can skew and distort um, which may or may not work it's something to experiment with another good reason to have a copy um a couple copies um what you could definitely use is puppet warp puppet warp works where you kind of like so say i want the, it to look like the shoe is like bent up so you like put down these like markers or like anchors essentially um, and I can put one up here and then I can, so that front is like anchored down and I could make this, um, bend up as easy as that. And then I can, you know, move it around, um, just an option. You absolutely do not have to do that, but play around with that. Um, you have to have a background, so you could um, have the background just say um, a color. It could be a solid color. Let me. You just learned the paint bucket, so if I picked a color for my foreground, clicked on the background, I have solid color with a paint bucket. If you wanted to use an image, so I have this like galaxy. I was going to name these galaxies. Are there already Nike galaxies? Oops, wrong one. So I'm clicking and dragging it and dropping it into the one I want it to go into. So 
So yeah, it kind of goes with the theme of my shoe. I'm sure it's been done before. There's power every <laughs> Nike Galaxies. Anyhow, um, what you could do is um, if you come over here in the layers palette, say you didn't want this so dark. You can go to the opacity slider and you could change the transparency of it. So you can make it like a little transparent if you wanted to, um, or you can make it darker, something to experiment with. Um, again, it could be just a solid background. You could add an image in there. It is all up to you and your creativity. And then um, the other requirements where you had to have like a slogan or a name, and then you had to have like a description of the shoe. Um, I'm gonna just show you the um, type tool because you would need that for both of them. So the type tool looks like a capital T. Um, and the way it works, I'm gonna click up here. As soon as I click, you're gonna see a copy uh, layer come up. So I can you can make a text box or you can just click and start typing and you'll see um, that layer already come up. So up here for the options, this will be the color that my text shows up in. I want it to be white so it shows up so you guys can see it. So this is the color, um, the size, the fonts. Um, you may have um, different fonts depending on the computer. Some people like to, if you want to download a specific font, you can do that at one of those sites, but you have to um, you have to do it on my computer under my login, save it to a flash drive, and then I have to install it, which I am absolutely willing to do. You just have to let me know, and I will install it in your computer as long as you go and get it and save it. So I'm, and I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just running through the fonts. Um, I'm just going to pick one. So say I'm going to name these Nike Galaxies. My text box is a little bit. Um, no, I'm not going to make it like that. I want the font to be bigger. Let's try 60. Good. Perfect. So, I can move, move this around, get it placed where I want it. So that'll, you'll see, that'll show you like when it's in the middle, you have these handy little lines that come up. Um, I can, if I go back to my type tool. There are also a bunch of options. If you go to that T that looks like it's on the hill, you can like warp it, um, arc it, bulge it. I would go too crazy with this because you can get out of control and not look so fantastic if you go really nuts. Um, so you can move it around. Um, let me show you, let me turn this one off just so for the sake of visibility. Um, a, a really easy way to make some, um, text stand out. If you come down here and go to effects and put a drop shadow, just a basic drop shadow, you'll see it's a very subtle, but very powerful way to make text stand out, especially in posters or advertising. Um, I can click OK. I could also, it's something, so say I wanted to do it on this shoe, it's this background shoe. Um, I could do a drop shadow, move it out of the way. So you'll see, it's, I mean, it's simple, but I mean, it is kind of powerful. So I could have a, you know, a drop shadow on that shoe too. Um, if you 
Remember the distance. You really want to be careful. It can go, it can go <clears throat> weird and wonky fast. Um, the size will make it like spread out more and kind of soften. Um, click OK. And then again, so if I wanted to have, you know, my description of like why these shoes are, why you should buy these shoes, what are so fantastic about these shoes that I designed, I could, you know, change, I could change the font up here, change the size, obviously it shouldn't be 60. Um, and then I could start, um, start my description of of these Nikes that they're you know Nike Galaxies um, have ultra memory foam cushioning to keep you comfy all day. No. Whatever your, um, whatever makes your shoes awesome and amazing, um, put in there for your little description. And then I think that that hits all of the basic requirements. Anything else you want to add in there? You want to add like, um, you know, any um, uh, swoosh or icon or something like that, um, we can do that because this is for educational purposes. We'll get into copyright very soon about what you can and cannot do um, within um, the copyright laws. And then you can save this as um, when you're done, <clears throat> excuse me, make a copy as a JPEG and turn that into the Dropbox. And check out those other websites that I linked for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Be creative and have fun.